pitfalls in M mode measurement, especially left ventricular and wall thickness. After we get in correct M mode, as here you see is not correct because the cursor is not perpendicular. I am going fix with the free wall as you see here. I use free wall here, you can see, make it perpendicular. Now we have to aware of some trap on measurement, especially on wall weakness, thickness. As you see here, uh, there are some structure on the septum and wall that it can make us confuse exactly where is my border, endocardium and epicardium on the posterior wall, or here exactly where is the border of my wall. For that reason, before you go to the M mode, first look at to the 2D image and see what structure you are passing through by cursor. Here on the IVS, as you notice, there are some echogenicity on the uh, right ventricular side that come up and even separate from the IVS and some tuperosity and uh, sometimes is separated or on posterior wall if you notice here some corda tendine and even part of the pop tip of the papillary muscle show up in the, on your field so before you start M mode first notice those structure because they are not belong to the wall after that when you do M mode and correcting your axis then follow the real myocardium not any other structure as you see here let me fix it there A little far from the tip. If even you see a little mitral valve leaflet on your image, that's fine. It's not big deal. As long as you are in the right spot, a tip to the papillary muscle. Okay, now let me get a little, not too much. There you go. Here, as you look, uh, you see here, I have on the IVS, I have two hyperecho line. Here, in the RVOT side, uh, it is IVS. There are some line here. Of, if you notice, especially in this this spot. There is a hyperechoal line and there is another hypoechoal line. So, where do you where we have to measure for the uh, IVS diastolic and systolic? Is that we have to include that line or not? If this is my endocardium, this is corda tendine or uh, trabeculation, all those stuff. That is the point that we mentioned you have to first look at your 2d image before you hit the m mode based on that i know this is not belong to the myocardium this is belong to the trabeculation on the right ventricular so my measurement ivs at the uh, end diastolic will be this spot over the endocardium at here not there so here and over it on the endocardium and on the endocardium side. And my posterior wall, if you notice here, I have two lines, one line here over there. So in, in some uh, time of the cycle, especially on this here, you can see separate completely. 
here is overlapping just I follow though that line that I'm not sure is that belong to the myocardium is some cordatinary or papillary muscle I just follow it different time and see and when I notice I know that he is not belong to the endocardium so this spot is my posterior uh, wall that is one hit another things another uh, trap that we do on the M mode for left ventricular especially wall thickness is where do you put the cursor you have to uh, focus on that because if, if you notice here this IVS close to the uh, proximal close to the base is become narrow and thinner here so when you are doing M mode for the wall thickness, never put on this spot that is thinner. So go beyond that and try to put the cursor somewhere uh, beyond the proximal, the base. So here is this. As you see here, I am a little far from this thinness part and that way I am correcting uh, I, I correct uh, my measurement for the IVS. Some patients they have uh, some sigmoid shape here, even a little go beyond this area. In those cases, don't mention that uh, if you put exactly at the sigmoid cursor on the M mode, don't mention that septum sigmoid as a IVS wall thickness just separately measure it that one and mention this there is sigmoid hypertrophy with this that size and then on 2d go measure the real septum a little far from the sigmoid uh, segment and mention both so one a little far from the sigmoid and another over the sigmoid and you mentioned both of them in your report. That's this two tip most important uh, trap uh, when you do a measurement. And don't forget in the previous lecture we, we mentioned if you are not perpendicular, case is not perpendicular to the septum, uh, both wall, 100%, you are overestimating wall thickness and uh, you label wrong on the patient and sometimes you will see in the practice many patients they on the M, based on the M mode they label patient hypertrophy myocardial hypertrophy but really there was a uh, wrong M mode image and measurement another uh, pitfall for in the left uh, on the M mode measurement on the plaques is uh, measuring uh, left atrium on M mode. As you know, on M mode, uh, for M mode on the left atrium, we put M mode over the aortic aorta at the level of the cusp, and then we do it M mode, and here, let me fix this. Okay, here we measure it three elements. First, aortic root. Aortic root on M mode is right before opening, opening cusp, aortic cusp. This is closing and it start opening at the sister. So I measure inner to inner for aortic uh, root diameter. Then I measure aortic uh, cusp separation, ACS, end of the cusp and end of the cusp. And another one, we measure left atrium short axis dimension. That will be end systolic at that spot, inner to inner on the left atrium. But here, just uh, look at the 2D image. The cursor pass through not perpendicular to the uh, left atrial wall. Let me show here. If I do M mode on for aortic valve and LA, 
and LA is you see this anterior or superior wall and posterior wall of the left atrium the cursor is not perpendicular to both two so uh, in this case I don't go do and um, I don't measure left atrium access on M mode even in practice usually this is almost uh, the same size of the perpendicular to the both wall of the left atrium if you notice here at this angle a little but if you go back to 2d you will see no i am a little off so in that case i don't measure left atrium on m mode instead i come here and measure left atrium uh, in the 2d on the end and systolic and then per I measure it inner to inner perpendicular to the both wall and this is my correct measurement for left atrium